All right, this is a really hard video for me to film because I am a huge fan of the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro and the 5 Pro. But I'm now also a huge fan of the latest Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X16. This thing is the best of all the gaming laptops that Asus has produced, slammed into one fantastic package. So I'm gonna try and unpack all the differences between these two laptops and then help you make a buying decision based on your needs, not based on my preferences, based on your needs. So let's kick it off right off the bat. We have three laptops here technically. now. The 5 Pro and the 5i Pro share the same chassis. They just have you know different internals. I'm gonna list all the specs on the screen so you can see the key differences. Now, one of the differences that I have to note is that this has the RTX 3070 Ti and these are the RTX 3060. But I'll talk through that discrepancy when we're in the benchmark so you can make a good qualified decision. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing differences between all these models, I'll put links in the description below so you can check that out. And if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission but at no extra cost to you. That'll help you make sure your budget fits the laptop you're choosing. And I'm thinking by the end of this video, you'll be surprised at how well these laptops coordinate as far as performance. So it'll really be based on features. All right, let's get right into it. First and foremost, let's look at the weight and thickness between these two laptops. The Legion 5 Pro is definitely a little weightier and a little bit thicker than the X16. Now, I think that is, you know, just because we have the aluminum chassis compared to the magnesium alloy chassis, magnesium alloy is quite a bit lighter, but I will say that the aluminum chassis on the Legion feels more sturdy, feels, you know, denser, it feels like a firmer package. The X16 is still well put together, but it just has a little bit of that like hollow kind of thinness to the materials because that magnesium alloy is so thin. So as far as overall build quality, I actually kind of lean towards the Legion 5 Pro and 5i Pro. However, I will make a caveat that I don't like the plastic around the back of the chassis. I just wish either they just didn't do that or you know, maybe they went with more like the Legion 7 where it's less of this like big chunky plastic and more of just this like low key aluminum uh, ledge. So that's neither here nor there, but overall I'm gonna give the winner to the Legion 5 Pro. Now jumping into the screen, definitely a better screen on the X16. It's a mini LED, it's brighter, it's gonna be slightly more color accurate, um, but that's not gonna forfeit in regards to battery life. We'll talk about battery life and power efficiency in just a second. The other benefit to the X16 is that it is a two-in-one laptop. So as you can see, you have a touch screen here, so you can get your pen if you're a digital artist, graphic designer, or photographer, do your designs, your edits to your photos, or your art on the go with great efficiency and great bright color accurate screen. So that is where this becomes a better all around creator laptop, the X16. This becomes maybe a slightly more budget friendly workhorse in regards to like video editing and 3D modeling. Um, also, I would say from a design perspective, I think that this has a much more professional look. I think the Legion has got more professional throughout the years, but you still have this big Legion name and you know where you have a very nice low key aesthetic here with the magnesium alloy top cover. So punch for punch, I think that's more of a personal preference. I would lean towards the X16. Now, in regards to battery life, the X16's in first place, followed up by the Ryzen version, the 5 Pro by Legion, and then the Intel version comes in last place. So power efficiency starts with Ryzen from the X16 and then works its way to Intel for the 5 Pro. You can see those results coming up on the screen. Personally, I would lean towards um, a little bit better performance uh, for the 5i Pro, which you'll see later in the video. Spoiler alert, the 5i Pro performs a little better than the Ryzen version of the Legion. And so I would lean towards a little bit more of the performance aspects than I would towards the battery life. However, we'll see how the X16 performs later in the video and maybe you can get the best of all the world's battery life efficiency and performance. 
Now, if you want more exclusive content, you want to get deeper into the Benji Kaiser community, we have just launched a Patreon where you can get deeper access to ask me questions, jump on live streams, and even get on face-to-face -face video calls with me where we can discuss your laptop choices, how your creative work is progressing as a professional. I'd just love to be in deeper community with you. And the Patreon is how we're doing that. There's actually three levels of support that you can give to the channel in order to get deeper access into the content. And again, there's exclusive content that will never make it on YouTube. So definitely head on over to the Patreon, check out those tiers. It would be an honor if you would join us in that Patreon community. Our next thing we're gonna look at is open and closing the lid, see which one opens and closes easier with one hand. Both don't have any issues. They open and close very easily. And then let's check out some of that screen flex. Let's see. Very little screen flex on the Legion, a uh, tiny bit more screen flex on the X16. Now, in regards to the keyboard and trackpad, let's go ahead and line these trackpads up real quick. As you can see, the Flow X16 has a slightly larger trackpad. It's not a creator-focused laptop, but it's more suitable for creators like digital artists, photographers, and graphic designers. Larger trackpad, touchscreen, two-in-one laptop. Um, trackpad's a little bit smaller. Um, but then again, I know a lot of creators like to have the numpad, which the Legion laptop comes with. So again, it's a little bit of give and take here. Now, both laptops do come with very nice command centers. The Asus comes with the Armory Crate and the Legion comes with the Lenovo Vantage Center. Now, both laptops have a lot of control over the CPU and the GPU. So that's why we're able to see very good battery life out of each of the laptops, specifically the Ryzen versions of these laptops. Um, so there's a lot of good control. The control actually does something. When you turn off the GPU, you do get better battery life on both laptops. So I really like that you really can't go wrong with either one in regards to the command center. Now, for a little sample of the keyboard and trackpad in use, here's a quick audio sample for both of the laptops. And if you're curious about the webcam, here's a sample of the webcam as well. This is the webcam for the Asus Republic of Gamer X16 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Lastly, for an audio sample, I must say the X16 does sound better with these upward facing speakers, but here you go, you can hear for yourself what the audio sounds like on the laptops. Now, in regards to the upgrade path on these laptops, both are very good. You can't go wrong with either one. In the past, Asus has started to kind of push us towards a single RAM stick for upgrade. That's no longer the case with the X16. You can upgrade both RAM sticks in the Legion series and the X16. So the upgrade path is good on both of these laptops. Now, kicking things off in the performance benchmarks, let's start in Geekbench single core and multi-core. As you can see in both of those benchmarks, the Legion 5i Pro stands out above both of the Ryzen laptops by about 100 points. And as we move towards multi-core, you can see that the 5i Pro is actually better than the X16 and the 5 Pro by almost 1,000 points for each one and even 2,000 points for the Ryzen version of the Legion 5 Pro. So again, seemingly benchmarks are showing us that the Legion 5 Pro is the best performer so far. Now moving into Cinebench R20, you can see that the 5i Pro stands out on top by about a thousand points for that benchmark as well. And then moving into Cinebench R23, single core and multi-core, it once again is the better performer. So from simulated benchmarks alone, Intel is winning, I know. Ryzen fanboys, it is a sad day in Ryzen fanboy land. Hopefully Ryzen 7000 can redeem us. But right now, we're sticking here in this review with the benchmarks and the results that we have. Now, looking at Blender Classroom, this is where things take a little bit of a turn because we're going to get into real world benchmarks. We actually see that the X16 outperforms both 
the Ryzen and the Intel version of the Legion. So if you want better performance in Blender, you should go with the X16. Now, as we move on to Autodesk 3ds Max, you can see that the 5i Pro and the 5 Pro are beat out by the X16, but not by a whole lot. Now getting into Autodesk Maya, the 5 Pro pulls itself up a little bit by about nine points above the X16. And then in PTC Creo, we see the X16 edge out the 5i Pro by a little bit and the 5 Pro right on its heel. So not a big difference there. Now looking at SolidWorks, you can see that the X16 is on top once again, but not by a ton. And even with these laptops, having the difference of the RTX 3070 Ti versus the RTX 3060 in the Legion, you can see that if you upgrade the Legion to the RTX 3070 Ti, I'm sure you will get better performance than the X16. So keep in mind that this laptop, the X16 is performing better on certain benchmarks, but it's because it has a more powerful GPU. So if you hooked it up with the same GPU as the X16, I think you'd have a better performer here from the Legion. All right, now moving forward to the Photoshop benchmark, this is an area that I don't know how well a more powerful GPU would serve you to get better performance. Um, but it is possible because the 5i Pro is only about 100 points behind the X16. And then the 5 Pro is again about 200 points behind the X16. I think the 5i Pro is close to matching or taking over with the 3070 Ti, but as they're configured, they're still in a good range for Photoshop. You're not gonna have any issues with either laptop. I would continue to emphasize though that this being a two-in-one laptop would be the better laptop for digital artists, graphic designers, and photographers. Now, if you wanna go ahead and convert those designs into motion, you would be good with either the 5i Pro, the X16, really or the 5 Pro. They're all right there in line with one another, not too big of a difference between them. Now getting into Premiere Pro playback, I would definitely say that the X16 is going to be your best pick. The 5 Pro and the 5i Pro do have good results for the 6K B-RAW playback. So basically what we have is a 16,177 frame project, and then I see how many frames it drops as it plays through that project. The best results came from the X16, then the 5 Pro, then the 5i Pro. So that's kind of how it tears down the list. However, as we get into the export times, the 5i Pro with the Intel processor has the best export time. Now it's nothing earth shattering, it's about 20 seconds better than the X16 and about 30 seconds better than the 5 Pro, but it still is the faster processor and GPU matchup uh, than the two other laptops. Now checking out the 6K export, you can see that once again, the 5i Pro is more powerful with Intel QuickSync. And I think if you add the 3070 Ti to it, it would have an even better export time. So again, Intel is gonna be the better performer in regards to the Legion versus the Legion um, overall. And for DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna see that the 5i Pro is still the better pick for video editing with DaVinci Resolve. You see about a 40 second difference between the 5i Pro and the X16. Now punch for punch, which one should you choose? I really think that if you're a graphic designer, digital artist or photographer, I mean, you're even a 6K video editor, the X16 is a better performer and it's more efficient. However, some people are not stoked on the build quality. People are really liking the aluminum chassis, a little firmer materials, a little more hardy of a laptop, and that's where the Legion would really come in. Now, if you're thinking about going for the Legion 5i or the 5 Pro, I've made a full dedicated video comparing the two. So you can definitely check it out. I'll link it up at the end of this video. But punch for punch between these two laptops, you really can't go wrong, especially if you equip this laptop with a 3070 Ti, they would be about the same price point and you're probably gonna get more more performance out of the Legion. However, you're gonna get more battery life out of the X16. Comment below and let me know which one you're considering purchasing. And if you're ready to make a purchase, those links are in the description below. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. We get a few different tiers and it's a great way to get tighter into the Benji Kaiser community and get exclusive content that will never be posted on YouTube. I'll see you guys here either in the Patreon or in the next video.